Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Dino Crisis 2, obviously. Um, now, we played the original Dino Crisis like 658,000 years ago, uh, approximately. And, it, yeah, it, <laughs> Dino Crisis, the original game, is very strange. It's Resident Evil, basically, with dinosaurs and um, some rather spiffy for the time 3D graphics. Uh, this game, I've never played before. I know it's very, very different to uh, the original game. Uh, I did watch a Let's Play of this, uh, again, approximately 50,000 years ago, uh, by, I think it was Reva of Jill Sandwiches. And I know I started watching Black Shadow um, play it as well. Uh, and possibly, possibly the game virus. Man, that's a name that I haven't said for a long time. The game virus. God, back when I used to have time to watch LPs all the time. Uh, but I've never actually like seen it all the way through. And to be honest, I can't really remember too much about it at all. Apart from the fact that I thought, well, this is weird. Uh, but everybody tells me this is a fantastic game. So, uh, let's give it a go. We do need to redo Dino Crisis 1 uh, at some point because my playthrough of that was arse. And I think we got the bad ending as well. Uh, yeah, possibly. I can't remember. It's been way too long. And that's what I wanted to skip because I knew it was going to go and play the introduction over and over again. And is that necessary? All that song and noise. Thank you. Right, let's go new game. Uh, used to playing this type of game. Skilled in playing this type of game. Uh, well, skilled isn't really something that I would say about myself often. Uh, we might go normal because... Oh, this is this is being a dick though, isn't it? Because you've got normal or hard, which is... Oh, dear. Well... Oh, um, let's just go normal for now because I have no idea what the hell this game even really is. I know it's not survival horror. One year has passed since the third energy incident. Dr. Kirk's research on third energy has been taken over by a government agency and massive research has begun at a base somewhere in the Midwest. However, in their pursuit of immediate results, they have failed to take the necessary precautions. And once again, an accident has occurred. This time, the entire research base, military institution, and a small town close by have disappeared. In their place, there now lies a jungle from another time. Interesting. Yeah, because the third energy was experiment was swapping time zones around and time periods around, from what I can remember. It's been a long time. Oh man, <laughs> there's a few of them. Holy shit.
Yeah, I think they just pissed him off. Blew his eyeball out, though. That's pretty cool. Come on, Regina. Get your ass out of there. Oof. Well, that went poorly. Did like everybody just died? Oh, this is the Cretaceous way of welcoming guests, huh? Not exactly the red carpet treatment. Hmm. There's no response. I'm pretty sure my team's all right. There's more than a thousand survivors. Let's get moving. Now hold on. What was your name again? Hey. is wrapped around the door it won't open let's try the door over there oh come on didn't they teach you how to open a door at thor training here i'll show you watch this <laughs> really really uh yeah that weapon definitely suits a trap member but i prefer to go in this way See ya, Mr. Barbarian. Okay. Dylan. Dylan. Call me that when you need some help, okay? Okay. All right, okay. So we're playing as Dylan. Uh, I guess Regina has a magic fucking lightsaber and Dylan has a machete right yeah so straight off the bat it's I mean it's kind of tank controls but yeah it seems to always run as well which is kind of interesting is, is there a walking I mean you can walk backwards I suppose uh, so we have like this little knife attack how do we get the oh really R2 is quick turn curious all right so uh, R1 brings up the shotgun with a hundred shells. Cool. Um, right. I like that. We take the med pack S. Yeah. So I don't really remember too much about Dino Crisis, the first game. I know they were conducting experiments with energy and creating some super clean power source and somehow accidentally created time travel because sure, why not? Right. Um, and I guess that's what's happened here. So the whole facility has been transported back in time. Whereas at the end of Dino Crisis 1, if memory um, serves, I think the facility had kind of brought dinosaurs into our time. It was something like that. I can't remember. I guess it's very confusing. Time travel is always bullshit and never makes a lot of sense. But sure, let's go with it. Uh, so we have a health bar as well, which is interesting. There's something moving. So I don't know where we're going. Oh, we can get up there. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. Mr. Velociraptor. What's with this blurry filter all over everything as well? I noticed that in the cutscenes. Oh, there's three of them. That's bad. Yeah, this is bad. Straight off the bat... We're getting freaking points? What's the deal with the points? Wait, isn't that some kind of money or something? So our shotgun literally just eviscerated these dinos. Alright. Oh, there's more. There's always more, I guess. Oh, items. Yeah, there's a there's a few. There's a few of them. Not sure how many is a few. Will you take the med pack? Sure, we'll take the med pack. Oh, fuck me. Hi, friend. Yeah, here's your fucking lunch right here, dude. Jesus. Oh. He's gone. He's gone. I guess we're just going to keep going forwards. So we're getting points. And from, yeah, from what I can remember now. Uh, oh, God. And it is coming back to me. We can use points as money somehow? Uh, how do we get into our menu? Menu is... Alright. 
Uh, I think flashing, remember, like that we're bleeding or something? He missed that. Stops the bleeding, bleeding, but will not recover your health. Okay. It will recover your health only a little bit. All right. Will fully recover your health, but not stop bleeding. Uh, you can return to life with your health. Yeah, didn't yeah resuscitation pack. We got those in the original, didn't we? So bleeding's going to be a, a problem, I guess. What about weapons? So main weapons. So we've got a shotgun that is equipped. Let's check it. It shoots scatter shots, capable of shooting enemies both close range and wide range. All right, strange way of putting it, but sure. Um, and our sub weapon, machete. Large knife used to slash close range enemies and distance yourself from them. Alright, alright, okay. Maybe you should give that a go, actually. Alright, let's go. Oh, fuck, fuck me. Guess these guys are just literally. How do we get that quick slash off? Uh. Now, I. I vaguely remember hearing that, like, grinding is a thing in this game. Uh, you need to, like, grind for key items oh god key items or something not sure these uh velociraptors i mean i guess they're velociraptors velociraptors in games and media are not actually velociraptors from you know real life they're uh, a lot bigger for a start but uh yeah that was interesting max combo what this is like an arcade game yeah, this... Yeah, I'm, it's kind of coming back to me now a little bit, going through these jungles, just blasting everything. Because you're... I think the game kind of wants you to be fast and build up as many combos as you can. It looks like it takes two shells to drop these guys. Yeah. I don't know if there's going to be... ammo pickups. I do remember now that there's a store that we can go to uh, and resupply weapons and upgrade weapons or something. That kind of sounds familiar. So it looks like enemies spawn every time. Yeah, every time we transition to a next scene. Like, if we go back, is that dino? Yeah, see that? Every time we... Swips, uh, swip. Yes, yeah, so every time we switch scenes. Is that how it's working? Yeah. Every time we change scenes, the enemies come back. That's interesting. I can see why we have a uh, hundred shotgun shells. Which, oh god. Luckily, this shotgun seems to have a pretty decent range. So, that's the thing. Uh oh, hey friend. I thought it took two shots. Sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes three. You have to be a little bit careful. Now, I'm not sure if it's worth, like, killing every enemy we come into contact with. I'm going to say... Oh, no damage bonus. Alright, so that's a thing too. Okay. Ah. Uh, I was not quite expecting this absolute onslaught of... Oh, fuck. That was lucky. Invincibility. You little shit. Yeah, I was not quite expecting this absolute onslaught of enemies. Like, the game doesn't even really give you a breather. And we're almost out of shells. That's bad. The auto-aim is questionable. It's not bad, but uh, uh, med pack S, yeah, sure, we'll take med packs. So we can pick med packs up. Can we pick ammo up? I guess it's not going to take too long before we find out. Combos seem to give us a bit of extra. Yeah, we'll take the large med pack. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can you even get up here? Yeah, of course you can. Why would you not be able to get up here? Like, Tick is bloody uncle. Long lost uncle, I guess. 
All right, well, let's keep pushing forwards because we're really running out of ammo. Oh, hi, friend. Get out of my face, yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want some more, huh? That's fine. Man, this shotgun um, is kind of... Oh, we could have... Oh, God. Yeah, every single scene transition, it spawns enemies. Every single scene transition. This is... Yeah, here we go. You can hear him again. Might as well kill him. I mean, I don't know how much 100 points is. Hopefully, 100 points equates to at least a few shotgun shells. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I do remember that's currency now. Some nice animation for a PlayStation 1 game. We came here to rescue you. Uh, okay, so we've got like ninjas or something. Cool, I guess. Right, uh, now, this is the... Oh, hello. You have found a dino file. The file contains data collected by the military about dinosaurs that live in this world. Uh, okay. Eight pages. Velociraptor. Right. Meaning Swift Caesar. Hmm. Okay. Interesting if true. Length 4.8 meters. Height 1.8 meters. Observed records. We originally thought of dinosaurs. Observation records. We originally thought of dinosaurs. Thought of dinosaurs were just dumb, slow. Okay. This is very poorly written. Um... Slow and dumb reptiles. We soon realized this wasn't true at all. The Velociraptor proved us all wrong. The claws on each foot is as sharp as a blade, providing for a powerful slash making them a killing machine. The long hard tail is used as balance when running at high speeds. However, it's also used as a weapon. Their tail whip is so powerful it can shatter bones. Combat notes. When and if you encounter them, Never show your back to them. The moment the moment you start running away, you become prey. Prey a to them. Writing this bad has to be intentional, surely. No soldier has come back alive running away from them. The basic rule in this world is to fight. The raptors are the most uh, prosperous carnivore dinosaurs in this world. They live different. They there live different flocks in various areas. Jesus Christ! Their behavior and endurance are not all similar, but they have one thing in common: speed. They are fast. It is best not to use heavy weapons. It is best not to use heavy weapons. Okay. Also, on very rare occasions. There have been encounters of blue raptors reported. Their attack and toughness are said to be ultra raptor level. Go hunt them down if you dare to claim yourself as a real hunter. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is very strangely written. So there's only a few of us. We're all struggling to survive. But fuck it. Go hunt these tough raptors down. Yeah. Uh, bearing in mind that the population of dinosaurs around here is about 680 million per square inch. That's interesting. Anyway, let's have a little look, see what we have in here. Uh, shop, I guess. Weapon. Solid cannon. Alright. Destroy cells by way of vibration. Effective for a few seconds, even after initial fire. Oh, okay. I, I thought that was going to be some kind of rail gun, but all right. So what else have we got? So we can buy health, which is cool. Uh, I bet health is expensive. Yeah, as you'd expect. To be fair, I think we're okay for health at the moment. We got medium packs. We got small med packs. Uh, maybe a hemostat actually. Yeah, they don't cost a lot.
Oh, right. Your item space is full. You can't buy. Okay. So... Mm. So who's managing this shop then? So magazine. Choose a weapon to charge. Charge. So it's 10 points per shotgun shell. So we're recharging our shotgun. Sure. Sure, why not? Right, now before we do that, let's have a look. Cartridge. Charging cartridge. Increases max ammo storage. That sounds like something we want to do. Uh, right. In extinction points, they're called. All right. Okay. I mean, so far, this, this game's a little bit different. So 4,000 points for another 100 cartridges. Or 7,000 for 200 more. Uh, I don't really know what we're going to need points for. So if I buy this... Does this give us the shells? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's cool. So it doesn't just increase our cap and then we have to manually purchase ammo. I mean, we might as well fill up on ammo, I suppose. Um, a tool, support item. There's nothing to buy. I wonder what that is. They're like extra blades and things we can buy i'm not sure i guess we can drop a save uh yeah huh this is uh yeah this is different this is like very very different i mm, i wasn't expecting it to be quite so run and gun but okay shotgun seems fairly good as well Definitely good against these dinosaurs. How well it's going to hold up against other things, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Definitely have the resuscitation back. Now, is there a map? There is. Oh. And it doesn't seem to be a bad map. Locked door. Okay. Okay. Interesting. The buttons are strange, but we kind of expect that. Passageway to military facility one. Oh, fuck me. Dinosaurs straight off the bat here. Okay, so the auto aim doesn't really auto aim. At least not much anyway. Come on, let's keep that combo going. Keep that combo going. That's how we make the big points around here. Oh, nice. Oh, little fucker. There we go. Keep building it. Oh, hello. Yes, keep that combo going. That's it. Up to 10. How far can we go? Oh, nice. Get out of here, dude. I mean... So, can we... 14? Yeah! Oh, we got a counter! Do we get a bonus for getting a counter? Oh, nasty! Ah, oh, do we lose? If, if we get hit... I think we lose our... take a small a small gives us a lot of health actually so unfortunately if we get hit we lose our combo sadly but that's okay is that all of them is it... i guess it is I guess it is possible to kill them all then. All right. Okay. So let's take the med pack M. Sure. The rubbish is blocking the tunnel path. There seems to be moss of some sort on pieces of concrete. Uh, okay. I mean, is is that relevant to us? Pieces of moss. 
Oh, uh, we may find out later. Let's keep going. Hey, not bad. 4,000 points. I mean, shooting these dinos and trying to build up your combo is... Or combo. is actually quite cool. I like it. It's quite satisfying. Ah, uh, we lost the combo. Get out of here, dude. Oh, nice. Suck it down, boy. Suck it down. Oh, it's fun. I like. Oh, no. We lost the combo. I didn't even see that dude there. Ah, oh, that was savage. Can we get any more? Yes, we can. Oh, God. Yeah, he's a little bit slow on the old shotgun sometimes. We're bleeding again, but that's okay. Oh, man. Might actually die here. So, bleed it. Oh, right. Uh, bleeding, actually. Um, drains our health. That's interesting. That's worth knowing. There we go. I'm guessing health items are going to be expensive. Oh, God. Oh, wait. We can shoot and move? Ooh. Guys, we can shoot and move. It kind of changes a lot of things. Oh, this changes things. This changes things. Oh, man. Shooting and moving is where it's at. can shoot and move. Ooh, I like that. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh, fiddlesticks. Now, I'm guessing he's a big boy. One -eyed menace. You one-eyed menace. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing... Oh, fuck. Uh, that we can't kill him? Oh, God. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, fuck that. Let's get out of here. I know there are some big dinos that we can take on, but I don't think it's this chap. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hello. Oh, fucking hell. He can smash through crates. That's a problem. Uh, yes, we'll take that. Or can we? I don't know, actually. It does. Oh, God. Run. I don't know if we can cause him to back off or something. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Run, run, run. Um. Ooh. What the hell is that? They're like bikers. Shooting at us now? But they're not shooting at the T-Rex. Did I miss something? Oops. They look like bikers. But, okay. And they have weapons that fire some kind of like discs that explode. Interesting. Ooh. Hello. Is this a little, like, save room? Medical room? Eh, yeah, maybe. It is. It's still that nice uh, music, actually. The flesh has been ripped from his stomach to his leg. Oof. Looks like a few years have passed since his death. Hmm. Doctor's papers. Time shift. Again, the day has come. January 14th. 
This is the day when the third energy accident occurred and we were sent to this time. This is the tenth time this day has come. And every time I feel the same despair. The medical supplies from the med room have all been used up in the very first year. Since then we've been collecting wild plants to make medicine without knowing its effects. Nevertheless, we uh, they were used in healing the wounds of our, uh, of the soldiers. And all we could do was to wait for the rescue. Why haven't they come to rescue us? I thought about the question for the past 10 years and I have come to a conclusion. The time shift or fold is caused by the overdrive of the third energy. But our current technology level wasn't high enough to recover the accident. Years of technology research still would not be enough. A time error of 10 or 20 years is insignificant to a time slip of 65 million years. But that error, that time difference, could mean everything for us. We should have never laid our hands on a toy so dangerous. Yeah, the writing in this game is absolutely awful. It's terrible. It's like a five-year-old wrote this stuff. Um... But hey, I suppose that's part of the charm. It's definitely nowhere near the quality of uh, a Resident Evil diary. This is the day when the third energy accident occurred. So are they in a time loop? <laughs> like, are they just living the same 10 years over and over again? This is the 10th time this day has come. Okay. Well, you know, when it comes uh, to time travel anyway, they just make it up. There's like... S none of it makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take the resuscitation pack. Like, with time travel, it's just impossible to make a coherent story. Because there's just so many loopholes and just bullshit with the game. Medical tools are stored here. It seems that all the health recovery aids have been used up. That's not to say you can't have a good fun story with time travel. Absolutely not. It's just, it's just nonsense. Uh, he must have been attacked whilst in his sleep. There's no signs of resistance. Yeah. Well, we've got a key here. You got the key plate. In fact, there's quite a lot of games that do, that are really fun involving time travel. Um, but yeah, from a story standpoint, it, it's just complete nonsense. It's delicious nonsense. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave that here because we're on like half an hour or actually over half an hour. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to think about this. It It's... It's different. I mean, it's interesting that they took Dino Crisis down its own path after being way too similar to Resident Evil in a way. But it's ah, I was going into this kind of expecting some sort of survival horror. It's more of a action shooty bang bang game. Uh, in fact, it's more arcadey than anything else. This is kind of interesting. And you know, we've been here for five minutes, and the story is absolute nonsense, which is fine. Kind of kind of expected that. Uh, so let's see how this one plays out. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.